I do a fair amount of teaching about the nature of at least ketamine-assisted psychotherapy. And uh, in the in the case of ketamine, it's it's a there is a there's a very big difference actually between the quality of the psychedelics versus ketamine. And I want to be clear about that. Uh, we don't really have the time to get into that too deeply. Uh, they're they're very very different in how they feel. They end up kind of arriving at the same uh, end point, which is an expansion of mind uh, and a release of uh, of the controlling forces that actually circumscribe and stereotype thinking. And so breaking down those stereotypes, breaking down some as we'll call them the default mode network or the network relationships, that kind of thing. But breaking that down and allowing areas of the brain to talk to each other that are not normally allowed to talk to each other is a powerful experience for patients because there's aspects of who they are that have been shielded off from themselves. They rediscover inner resources, aspects of who they are, uh, this kind of deeply enriching and rediscovery, uh, almost like they've moved out of that liminal state back into full recapturing what they've lost, what adolescence, uh, what we lose in adolescence, we move into adulthood.